Welcome to IT Matters. Today in this video, let's take a look at what is a LAMP stack and how to install it on Ubuntu operating system. LAMP stack is actually a bundle of four different software technologies that developers use to build websites and web applications. LAMP is an acronym for the operating system Linux, the web server Apache, the database server MySQL, and the programming languages PHP. All four of these technologies are open source, which means they are community maintained and freely available for anyone to use. Software developers use LAMP stack to create, host, and maintain web content like web applications or websites, and it's a popular solution that powers many of the websites you commonly use today. So let's look at the architecture of uh, LAMP stack. So here you see that we have web server, we have scripting languages like PHP, we have a database MySQL on the operating system Linux. In LAMP stack, uh, there are alternative scripting languages available like Perl or Python. While PHP is the default scripting languages of the LAMP stack, developers can replace it with Perl or Python. Okay, let's begin the installation. Alright, let's SSH into Ubuntu server. Alright, so we are successfully logged in. Okay, to begin with LAMP stack, as a first step, we need to install Apache server. So, before installing Apache server, Let's update the system packages. Now install Apache. All right, installation is completed now. So let's check the status of uh, the Apache server. Yeah, it's active and running. So let's give it a test. Okay, here browser return the web page is not available. So this happens because of the firewall rules. So basically, when you install uh, Apache, once you finish the installation, you will need to adjust your firewall settings to allow HTTP traffic. It has different application profiles that you can leverage. So to list all the currently available firewall rules or profiles. You need to use this command so UFW app list actually shows the available applications on the firewall so here we see Apache Apache full Apache secure right so um, the meaning of each profile is when we enable or allow Apache it opens only port number 80 so it is HTTP and Apache full this profile opens both port 80 and 443 so it's like 
uh, HTTP and HTTPS and the last one is Apache Secure this profile opens only port number 443 which means if you enable only this if you allow only Apache Secure then uh, your website or your web application is only accessible on port number 443 so for now for the test purpose let's allow only port number 80 so use this command All right, rule is added now. Let's see the firewall status. So patch is available here. So let's go ahead and test the server. There you go. So the Apache installation was successful and uh, this is the default page of Ubuntu to display the Apache services and give a confirmation to users that Apache installation was successful. Let's jump on to MySQL installation. All right, so installation of MySQL is completed. So now it is recommended that uh, you run a security script that actually comes pre-installed with MySQL. So basically this script will remove some insecure default settings and lock down access to your database. So when we do this, only allowed access or users which are allowed to access the database can only access the database so uh, to do so we need to run a command all right so this will ask you to configure the password plugins so basically it's a validation of your passwords so let us accept this one as yes you see the level of security imposed on uh, passwords. So basically it's a password validation policy, which will be added to all the users, which we create on MySQL database. Here I selected medium and answered all the questions. Try to log in into MySQL server. The login is successful all right so now um, the final step is to install PHP so let's begin so install PHP including its libraries So here we installed three packages. So one is PHP, which is actually the PHP uh, scripting package uh, to write the backend. And uh, we have installed uh, 
Apache 2, a li library Apache 2, uh, which is uh, which will help uh, to enable Apache to handle PHP files. And then we installed PHP MySQL, which is uh, uh, a PHP module that allows PHP to communicate with MySQL based databases. Alright, we are done with the installation. So let's check the PHP version. Alright, it is 8.1.2. Alright, now let's try to host a website and test if it is working properly. Okay, when we install Apache, it actually creates a default location called HTML. So this is the default directory. Uh, which is actually very good if you're in, if you are hosting a single application but in case if you have a scenario to host multiple applications then you have to create uh, different directories for each application so let's try and see how to do that so in our case now we will create a new directory and we'll host a host a web page there to see if it's working So we'll create a directory within the same location. I'll name my application as IT Matters. Now let's assign ownership of the directory. So basically here what I did, I have given the environment variable for a user with dollar user. So basically which will reference your current system user. So whatever uh, user you are logged in into your server, it will detect it automatically. Alright, now create a configuration file for my application. Okay, here I need to keep my application name dot conf. Okay, save the file. So let's check if it is added successfully. Yes, it is done. Now enable the virtual host. Okay, now let's uh, disable the default web page. So, when we try to log in into Apache, so this is the default page. Let's try to disable this page. Okay, 
now the default page is disabled okay now let's see if our configuration file doesn't contain any errors syntax errors so let's do a cross check All right, it is successful, no errors found. So let's restart Apache now. Okay, so let's keep it trial here let's try to refresh this page all right there's nothing there to display so it means the default page has gone so now let's create a page on our application okay so navigate to application directory which is it matters and then consider creating a page called index.html okay i have sample code available here Yes, we have successfully completed hosting a web application or a website on a LAMP stack. Cheers! Thanks for watching.